Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about my new head unit from Extrons. But before we get there, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment this video. And also don't forget to find me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. So for these last couple of weeks I've been thinking of changing my head unit. Uh, the head unit I had before was a Pioneer DA120 which uh, it's got a basic FM, Bluetooth, USB and also Apple CarPlay which I think is the first Pioneer head unit that had Apple CarPlay. It's an old unit, is at least 5 years old. It works but I wanted something different. Funny enough, Xtrons contacted me and they said oh check out our head units. I went into the website, I'm gonna put a link down below, really easy to access. You select your car make and model and year of manufacture and then it gives you the options for the vehicles. Extron makes head units for a lot of different vehicles so I'm sure you're gonna find your one in the list as well. So Extron makes um, Android car head unit. To be honest I was never a big fan of them so I got now Extrons to change my mind. Let's see what we've got in the box. PS1, adapters, mic and cameras, USBs, more adapters and the two harnesses, one for ISO, one for quad lock and the instructions. That's how the unit looks out of the box and then on the back go all these where you plug the individual adapters. The units have got so many um, options you can use Bluetooth, you can use a USB, you can use an AUX, you can use um, your FM, you can use uh, Apple CarPlay on some of them, you can also use it as a tablet. So, you can extend these options with a lot of extra accessories that you can buy. So, you can buy an external microphone if you don't like the one that has got built in. I've been using now the head unit daily for more than two weeks, everything works. I didn't have any big problems, so let's say uh, lagging or not working, the internet connection was fine and it moves really well. Also, the wires that comes with it, they are made for your steering control, so your steering control buttons will work. The thing I like the most about this unit is that it's made to fit your vehicle and replace the original one and look like it came from factory with it. Now let's see how it looks in the car and how it performs. So that's the menu that we got, 
few icons on the bottom, few icons on the top. You've got the back. This is for the apps that they open. Uh, this is your theme. Volume. It shows you the voltage of your battery, which is really good. And uh, yeah, when you scroll this way, got a few more apps. And um, let's connect it to the internet. So I've turned my um, hotspot on on my phone already. All I need to do is go here, network, Wi-Fi, and as you can see, it's already connected because I've connected it before. Now, so the rest of the buttons we go. So we've got the CD that goes on the top. We've got the button to remove the CD, you've got your nav, you've got play and pause, equalizer, uh, mode, USB, uh, SD card, GPS card for the signal, menu, FM, display and ding. Uh, volume and then uh, tune button. The mic is up here. Also, it comes with two USBs. One I've connected it out here, and one goes on the side. So now that we've got the internet on, you can go to, let's say, I've got just a few apps. So I've got Google, YouTube, and Waze download it. So if you go to YouTube, you can log in with your account. Here we go, my videos. Make it smaller here, so then you can go to your menu and still have the video playing down here. So you've got the video playing down here, and then uh, you can still access whatever else you want to do. Um, and go ways. Play Store and then uh, download other apps that you want. I don't know, let's say let's download table.
to play games, but I just want to show you how um, how smoothly it runs on a game. Because uh, when you look up videos and stuff like that, it's different than playing a game. Okay, so on the settings, So you can put your reversing camera if you've got a reversing camera. You can buy a dongle that plugs into your OBD and it gives you... Um, that's another app that you can buy to check your tire pressure that again you need to have the dongle that plugs into the OBD so I haven't had the time to explore it even deeper but you can leave in the comments down below if you want me to try something and uh, yeah make a video about it thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye on my channel i'll try my best to post more videos i've got a few more reviews to do and see you on the next video